All right. Good morning. Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I need some lotion on my hands, but I can't get up now because I'm here. How are you doing today? Okay. So, hmm. Okay. I am recording on my phone and here. Hey, y'all. Welcome, neighbors. <laughs> I'm here. Listen, yesterday, I hope everybody is well and doing good. Yesterday, I think I had told you on last week that um, one of the ministries that I'm associated with, with my church, we were going to have a community event. And we had a table in the DMV area. They had a carnival. Everything was really nice. Um, horses, sheep, goat, um, a lot of things. It was really, really nice. I enjoyed it. And uh, when we left and came home, you know, because yesterday I was supposed to do my video, but I was so tired. It was so hot. I just decided that um, I was just going to relax and go to bed. And so that's what I did. So I'm up early this morning, well, early enough, and I, sh I want to show you how far I've gotten on the um, tote bag that we're making <laughs> because you all have been giving me so many uh, great comments. I made a lanyard for the bag as well. I use this Dritz, um non-roll elastic. I wish I would have you. This is a half an inch roll, but I wish I would have used a inch. So yeah, when I was looking for my elastic and I have this size and a wider size, but when I was looking for the elastic, I also found heavy duty snap kit that I already had, which I didn't know because I showed you all that packet this packet here that I had purchased. So I showed you all this. I didn't even know I had this. So, and then I had bought these some time ago. I had bought these some time ago. So I still want to put on my snaps, but first, um, let me show you a quilt that I had made because we had talked about, um, let me kind of turn it this way. Well, let's see. Such an awkward position because I'm not standing up, you know? And it's not that big. So here it is. So I'm, I'm going to kind of show you um, what what's happening with me when I quilt. Now, one of the ladies asked me when I'm quilting, when I'm squaring up the quilt, do I make it even all around? Yes, but let me confess that I do not measure. And I know we're supposed to measure from the middle straight across, and we're supposed to measure from the top to the bottom. You all, and maybe I'm missing something because I am not measuring. And if I want my quilts to look more professional, maybe I should start measuring. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that, how that binding is? Here. Do you see how, right here, do you see how when I was putting the binding on here, I don't know if you can see it. I missed it because I think I was sewing here and when I went to look to make sure that when I folded it, I was catching everything, this part here was still open. So I had to come back and close it up. So that's the issue that I'm having. And like I said, it could be so pretty. 
it could be that, um, and I didn't put a um, label on here, and I do need to do that. It could be that um, I'm not measuring. So let's talk about it. I don't know if our friend um, Kimmy from Fat Quarter Shop, I don't know if she's doing a live now. Um, she's probably doing a live now. I was hoping that I would catch um, some some of you guys in the chat so we could talk about it. Definitely, um, you know, not scheduled uh, live. Okay, so what are we doing with our bag? So I spoke about a lanyard. So I made this. I made this. This is going to go on the inside of the bag. It's going to hook in the inside lining. It's going to hook in the inside lining for our keys. Now, I've never done that before, so that was fun. Let me show you our lining. How can I get this? These notifications is popping up in my corner, so I can't see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hey, somebody's there. Um, yeah. So I just showed the lanyard, and this is what I've done for the um for the the lining. There's a pocket in the back. I did that pocket and I did a 3D. I did a 3D slip pocket. That's a 3D slip pocket. Nice and deep. This is the uh, loop for the lanyard to connect to on the inside. Let me see. So that's how that's going to look. And then the zipper pocket is on the back. Nice, yes. And I left an opening down here. I did leave an opening there. Okay, so for the for the uh, front and back panel, that's the front and back panel. Right, that's our front and back panel. So. Um, I still want to put a snap on. I'm still very, very, very nervous about these snaps. But I watched a couple of tutorials, so I shouldn't even be nervous at this point. Um, I did use this chalk and my ruler here. And I just did um, two and a half inches all the way down. So I wanted it to be neat, so I did that. Okay, so we're gonna unhook this. I do not know how well you can see. Okay, so I know that we have to turn this on the inside out. Yes, we turn this inside out. And remember when I was talking to you all about the lining? So what I did with the lining to make it fit, and I think I came in a little bit too much, what they say do, right, is when you start your lining to come in at your quarter inch and not really pivot, but kind of go come inward all the way down on both sides so it fit. So I did that. And when I went to put it inside the bag, it was still a little saggy, the lining was. So um, so what I did, I, was, I took it out and I started another seam. And that's why the cut looks so crazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
I guess I'll keep trying until I get it. All right, so I want this. This is the front of the bag because this is where we have our little tag. Uh, Pillar Enterprises, that's my business. Okay, so we're going to place our bag inside and let's see what it looks like. How do we do with the lining? Because we don't want a saggy lining. Let me stand it up. Okay, stand it up really good. And open it up. Okay. Who is that? Denise Hatch. Hi, Denise. What you doing? How's the weather out there where you are, Denise? How is the weather? All right, y'all. So here we go. Let's see how much. Ooh, okay. So what we do now, can you see that? Let me fold it over. So what I, what happened, it looks like what happened was, um, it looks like when I went in that second time to, um, to make the lining a little bit smaller, I probably should have left it. Because you see those waves? You see those waves in the uh, front and back panel? You see those waves? I probably should have left it. So now the next step, what we have to do is pin it all around. Right? We're going to pin all the way around. And once we pin all the way around, we're going to sew it all the way around. And then we're going to pull the bag from here and the lining will be inside. But I see those waves and I'm trying to figure out if I should just, I can't take it out because you see how I cut it? You see how I cut it? You see how it's small here? There's gonna, there's not gonna be no any room. There's not gonna be any room. So I'm gonna have to deal with it this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and pin it. I'm gonna go ahead and pin. I was wondering if you could see the machine over there. Moderation activity is now hidden. This includes messages that are held for review or removed by you or a moderator and use and users who are put in time out or hidden. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have those kind of issues over here. <laughs> this is a craft channel. Okay, oh, oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? You know we start at the seam. Okay. So we line up our seams. We line up our seam here. And we pin there first. Okay. I need some new pins too, you all. Um, I think Kim has those pins called Little House. So I want to get two packs of those at least. And I was looking at her sticky board too on yesterday. So I want to get some of that too. So I can go ahead and start um, decorating mine. So we did that side. So let's do this side. Okay. We got that seam lined up. But I thought that, you know what? I thought I heard somebody was talking about when your um, panel is a little wavy like mine is and to get it straight. But I, I heard it and I was sewing, so I really wasn't, you know, video after video was going. 
And I really didn't, um, hey, Denise, I really didn't, um, you know, I wasn't really listening to what she was saying because there's a way to get that wave out. I don't know if it was snipping it or snipping the lining. So I don't want to do either. Um, so I got the sides pinned. Look at that wave, y'all. It's messy. Ooh, we okay. So we gotta, we have to finish pinning all around. Finish pinning this all around. I was thinking, I was looking over there. I was gonna take you all over there to that sewing machine over there and sew this all the way around, but I don't know how. You see? You see? You see? This tells me that maybe a lot of pins will help. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's put as many pins as we can. I might, um, the only reason I didn't pin it before, now remember, remind me, <laughs> I still want this as a snap closure. As a matter of fact, I want two, and I'll show you where I want them. You see this? You see that? Here's my line and here's my, mm. Oh. I don't know what to do here. Fold it? Do you fold it? Mm. Y'all let me, if y'all ever made a tote before, let me know if you've ever had this problem. I know I can't be the first person that, ouch, sticking me. I'm so tired of getting stuck. I should have used the Wonder Clips. No one's chatting. I just see, um, I just see, who's that? Miri, I think her name. Okay, this pen is no good. <clears throat> That's why I was saying I need some new pens. That's exactly what I was saying. I need new pens. Okay. So we got all of that pinned. So now we're here. This pin is coming out, so let's do that again. All right. I probably could pick this phone up and turn this around so you can see me over there. I have this tool. I have my pencil. And I probably could at least make my, I think I'm going to use these. These appear to be a little lighter than, um, these appear to be a little lighter than these. These appear to be much heavier to me. And the lady was talking about knowing what type of clips, snaps, to use in your bag. Look at that. Look at that wave. Ay, 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 ay. So as many, somebody's saying something. Let me see. How do I see what she's saying? We. Let me see y'all. Okay, okay. Okay, so, okay, I see the people talking. I'm gonna bring it closer. Let me put this over here. Okay. Hey, y'all. Okay. Mm, I didn't have my eyeglasses. Let's see here. We're having a great day, but playing with my new fabric from a scrap bag. Cool. Are you thinking of your handles before sewing? Let's talk about it in a second. Um, good morning from California. Hey, California. How are you, neighbor? How do I move it up? 
Bear with me, y'all. Let's see here. Look at the excitement that I have. Ah, the people are talking. Okay. Come on. Hmm. Mm -mm. I sew the lining after I sew the handles. I sew the lining. Hmm. Okay. The only problem I'm having a problem with um moving up my cursor. Let me see. Jesus, help me, God. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, we can already talk about that in a second, but I wanted to see um I wanted to see the other. Oh Lord. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Leave sight. No. No, 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 no. No. Cancel. Okay. But I do want to. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. New subscriber. Hey, Judy. So in so. Hey girl, how are you? How are you? Thank you, thank you. Oh, um, you know what? In regards to the straps, let me go ahead and say it now. Um, I really wanted some dark brown. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted some dark brown straps. Um, I don't know how to move. Okay, got it. Out of the way. Thank you. Okay, you can show or hide moderation activity from here. Okay, I see that. Okay, I would make a fold from both sides. Thank you. I need that to, to, to move out of the way. Thank you. Okay, somebody said, <clears throat> I would make a fold from both sides just in the middle. That would make a decoration and look on purpose. I would make a fold on both sides. Are you talking about um, the lining or the front and back panel of the tote? And then, lovely, I love that. Well, I think I'll start saying, ah, morning neighbors. Yes, morning neighbors. These are the neighbors. Hey, neighbors. I love it here. Um, let's see. When that happens to me, I just fold it a little bit, even to the seam. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Paula Neary. Okay, she's saying pull it in where I started at in the seam and make a little fold since I know that the front and back panel is a slightly bigger than the um slightly bigger than the uh the lighting. Now The only strap that I have is this strap. And I have a lot of it, but it's black. So it's, I have so much, I didn't want to use it because it's, you know, it's black, it's really dark, right? So I didn't really want to use this, but I haven't been to the craft store or ordered any strap. And it's so much that I was even thinking that, you know how the, the two straps come all the way under the bag on both sides, kind of about four inches from each seam. And that, you know, I could do it that way, but I don't think I'm gonna do it that way. I think I'm gonna just, you know, you know how we do, we just put them there on each side, but it's black. So I may end up using them. Okay, let's see. The front panel is the one who's too big. Well, oh, the front panel is the one that's too big. You got it. Okay. Okay, Paula. Um, okay. Hello, just saw you were online. Yeah, great idea. Hi, hi, Denise. Hi, uh, Paul, Paula Neary. Good morning for California. I read that. And... 
I sew the lining after I sew the handles. The front panel is the one who's too big. So you saying that the front and the back panel, um, they're not even? Are you saying that the front and back panel is not even? And then she said, sew the straps before putting on the lining. I was thinking, let me, okay, let me, let me get my thoughts together. I was thinking, sew the lining all around one time. Take the pins out, pull it from the inside out. Okay, once I do that, then put my two straps on the front and back, right? Okay, I'll remember that um, folding that uh, front and back panel just a little bit on each side. Just one side, I, su I suspect. Okay, somebody said, Denise Patch says, yes, you'll have to sew through both thicknesses. Yeah. Because once we sew the... Um, once we sew the lining all the way around, pull it out, then the lining will sit inside the bag. I put batting in it. It'll sit inside the bag. And then we do a top stitch around, right? And press that. And then we put our straps on. And then I can go ahead and connect my lanyard in there. Denise Patch said, right. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank y'all for joining. I appreciate it so much. I know we're going to have our other neighbors come and join us a little bit later. And I'll be um, communicating with you all in the chat. See right here? Oh, it just makes me so. You see that? You can see it. Let me see. Uh. Okay. See, I folded it a little bit. Sometimes the lining and the outside are slightly different sizes because when you sew them together, the quarter inch seam is just a little bit different. Yes. That's right, Paula. Let's see what it looks like. Let me bring this pin up some. Let me do something real quick. Let me turn that around. Try to take y'all over there and sew it around, turn it inside out. <laughs> okay, some of these pins are coming down. All right, so we all pinned around. Okay, be careful, I don't want anything to fall. All right. 